And guys, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of a stalker. Like I kind of stalked him. Everybody, my name's Haley. I'm Chris. And together we are Hey and Chris. That's my name. Anyways. <laughs> so it is now February, and that means Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to do so <laughs> we wanted to do a video kind of like a reminiscing over our love story and how we met and how Hey and Chris came to be. <laughs> so, if you are new to our channel, we are glad you're here. Like and subscribe to us. Mm -hmm. We post every Sunday and Wednesday and we would love for you to join our family. So, the day we met. It was a beautiful Tuesday morning. <laughs> Actually, it was April 1st, 2015. And I guess I'll kind of tell that from my point of view and then uh -huh. maybe you can tell your point of view. So I actually do like remember that day pretty well. So we both worked at the outlet mall, a little backstory. And I think I had probably worked at the store um, maybe like a year at that time. And so I was working, I was closing that night, I remember and i got there really early for some reason mm -hmm. those birds are a little so loud <laughs> um anyways i got there really early for some reason so i was just like walking the mall walking around and i had really been wanting some new sunglasses because i was working two jobs and i hardly had a day off and i was about to be able to go to the beach because i had a day off mm -hmm. but i really needed some new sunglasses so I had walked by Sunglass Hut like a time or two while I was just pacing the mall waiting to go to work. And I was like, no, I really don't need to spend the money on sunglasses, like I'm not gonna go. So I was walking from the other side of the mall to my store and I was still like 10 minutes early <laughs> and I was like, I really don't want to go into work yet. I really don't want to work today. I'm just gonna stop in Sunglass Hut and just like browse for a couple minutes. They had like a sale or something. I don't know. So, so I went in and I was just browsing at the sunglasses when some guy came up to me and started talking to me. And I told him like, yeah, I work at the mall. I'm just killing some time. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, do you need any help finding anything? And I was like, well, I'm just trying to look for some sunglasses because I'm about to have a day off finally. I think it was like my first day off in like 17 days or something ridiculous. And I was like, so I'm gonna go to the beach. And he's like, oh, that sounds really fun. Like, I love going to the beach. And I'm just like, okay. And I just keep looking at the sunglasses. And then um, he ended up, before I walked out, asking for my phone number. And I was a little bit like, this guy, like asking for my phone number right away. I was like, I think I'm gonna give him my mom's phone number. So I was literally about to type my mom's phone number in because in case he was a creep or something. <laughs> yeah. But I ended up putting my own in and then you texted me that night. Like you texted me, as soon as I got into the back room of work, I had a message from you and it was like, hi, with a smiley face. <laughs> yeah. So that's the day I remember meeting you. And I remember I got into work, I worked at, um rap room shoes and i had some like really good friends there at the time and i was like oh my gosh guys you're not gonna believe what happened this super cute guy from sunglass hut gave me his phone number when i was just over there and we were all like peeking through the window like oh there he is because our stores were literally right across from each other so if you looked out the window like you could see into the other store creepers <laughs> 
what was your what what do you remember from that day so i remember it was a fine april 1st <laughs> um <laughs> No, so I, I, it was slow. We were in there and I was with my buddy Jordan. Um, we're sitting there talking and I was new to the area. And I'm like, man, I wanna go do something. I have nobody around to go do anything. And he's like, well, you know, the next time a girl comes walk in, just start talking to her and ask her for a number. And I was like, nah, he's like, he's like, uh, I knew you wouldn't do that. And I, you know, at that time I was like, yeah. All right, that challenge accepted. Like, if anyone knows me, they're like, challenge accepted. I got this. And um, so I ended up uh, um, talking. And then, like, 10 minutes later, she just comes walking in the door. And I was like, damn, she's, she's pretty hot. Like, <laughs> I was like, she's well, pretty, like Ellie. Ellie's going to knock our camera over. Um, I was like, man, she's really hot. Like, I think I'll do this one. And, <laughs> And, I'll do this one. <laughs> and uh, my buddy Jordan nudged me and said, all right, cheer up. And I was like, all right, I got this. And so she, like she said, she started like, oh, yeah, we're across the way, killing some time. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, did you need anything? And I'm thinking in my head, please don't need anything. Just talk to me about random stuff. And um, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't really need anything. I'm just kind of killing time. And I was like, all right, like this is my moment to shine like this challenge was accepted and she's like yeah i like going to the beach i was like oh i like going to the beach too like i was like man i don't know what i'm gonna say but i'm just gonna say what i just say something you know like and, uh, i thought you were trying to get me to ask you if you wanted to go to the beach with me you know I, I kind of that kind of ran through my head i'm like Maybe if I do like some like reverse psychology, maybe she'll ask me, like, <laughs> I didn't know. So I, I was like, yeah, I was like, well, I like going to the beach. And she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Sorry guys, Ellie is trying to steal the show right now. I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> there you go. Oh, now you're crooked. All right. Um, so <laughs> after that, <laughs> Um, I decided, hey, I'll, uh, I guess I'll ask her for her number. So, like, just a little bit before she left, I was like, oh, um, would you want to go out sometime? I'm like, I'll go to the beach with you on your day off. And she was like, kind of like paused for a second, like looked at me. And I'm thinking, she either thinks I'm a creep or like, she's really shocked that I asked her for her number. And uh, come to find out, she thought I was a creep at first. You never um, know. Yeah, you never know. But still, I mean, do I look like a creep? So that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. Fast forward a, a couple weeks, we texted a lot. Probably like for two weeks, we texted pretty often. Yeah. Um, but we hadn't hung out or anything. He did not go to the beach with me, just so you know. I was working. I'm <laughs> there sorry. was no invite to the beach for you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but come to find out when we were texting is we both had two jobs at the outlet mall. Mm -hmm. I worked at Rack Room, he worked at Sunglass Hut, they were right across from each other. And then on the whole other side of the mall, I worked at Charlotte Roost and he worked at Hager right across from each other. So that was really weird. And yeah. guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of a stalker. Like, I kind of stalked him. I. When I was working at Rack Room, because that's where I worked most of the time, like I think I only worked one day at Charlotte Roos, I knew when he usually took his lunch break and he had to pass right in front of my store to go to the cafeteria. And when it came like 1.30, there I was making sure that I was doing something in the windows so when he walked by, I could wave to him. <sighs> yeah, I was kind of a creep. But... <clears throat> Sorry, you're making me nervous. <laughs> Recalling all of this. Okay. So we probably texted for like two, three weeks maybe. Yeah. I was stalking him. Nothing happened besides that. <clears throat> and then he ghosts me for like probably two and a half weeks. Because like, we were texting pretty often. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like nothing. Like, he does not text me at all. I text him, no reply. 
come to find out, would you like to tell this? Or can I tell this? No, <laughs> no, I'll tell it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so at the time, so we were texting and then there was somebody else uh, that uh, you had known for a little, for a longer, uh, a little longer time. And, uh, you know, they asked if I wanted to try like, you know, going out and, you know, kind of like dating or something. So I decided to give that person a shot. And, um, you know, so obviously I can't talk to two girls at once. And I, which I respect now, but you could have texted me and said, Hey, I'm seeing someone right now. That's why I'm not texting you after texting you nonstop for three weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah. In my mindset, it was like, <clears throat> if I tell her I have a girl, then maybe she just won't ever want to like talk to me or be a friend later or something. Like, I just, it just happened and I was just trying to like. But guys, keep in mind, we all worked at the same mall. So, I mean, there's only so many places you can hide. <laughs> yeah, so, and it wasn't like I was hiding or anything. No, I know. I just, like, you know, I'm like, uh, you were super nice. I'm like, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to do. So I just kind of just so left it. Me. So, yeah, so I ghosted her. <laughs> um, you know, and I do regret that part, but. Um, yeah, but I mean, it was, how long did you date her? For, like, two weeks? No, so it was like, probably not even. So it was, like, two weeks that I didn't hear from him. And I was just like, that's weird. Still stalked him in the window. Waited for him to pass by. Yeah. Yeah. I was pretty creepy when <laughs> I think about it. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's times I caught her, like, <clears throat> creeping in the window. And then she'd, like, slowly back up. Or, no, like, I would wait to you. Or, like, she, or she I wasn't wait. ashamed about it. He's walking by. I'm up front, like, doing my thing, working hard. And then, oh, he's crossing the window? What do you know? We're here at the same time. Hi. See, I thought he was going to invite me to eat lunch with him, but he never did. <laughs> so shortly after you broke up with um, the girl, the other girl, we started texting again. I don't remember how it came back up. Like, I don't remember how we started texting again. I think I started the conversation telling you that I was thinking about getting a tattoo or something. Because that's I when I was remember. about to get this tattoo, and I think I um, messaged you about it. But anyways, so I think we had lunch together a few times, maybe in the cafeteria or something. Yeah, it was in the cafeteria. Um, but I think the first time that we, like, really did anything was on Mother's Day. Um, you were working at Hager. Yep. Right? Yep. And I was gonna go to the beach again <laughs> with my mom for Mother's Day. And that was your first Mother's Day? Yeah, I think it was my first <clears throat> or second Mother's Day. No, it was your first. Was it? Yeah, it was your first Mother's Day. So his first Mother's Day without his mom. And so I decided that I was going to stop by and I knew you had told me that you love Reese's and Red Bull. So I came in with like, a bag of Reese's and Red Bull and I brought it into him and we talked for a little while probably like half an hour or so um, and then that was in May right because Mother's Day is in May yeah. and uh, I think the week after that is when we went on our first date after Mother's Day I think that next week I remember I was in rack room and stalking you per usual in the window up front and you actually came in this time all my stocking work had paid off because you came in and you were like, hey, just wanted to see what you're doing tonight. Like I was thinking of going to the movies. Would you want to come? And I was thinking, man, we both don't get off till like 9.30. We're gonna go to the movies like so late. Like that's my bedtime. Like that's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I was like, I can't pass this up. So I'll say, yeah. So we met at the movies and we saw Fast and Furious 6. Yep. I think. If anybody can comment below. Whatever yeah. Fast and Furious came out in 2015. 2015. <laughs> yeah. But if you watched our couple's Q&A, then you know about the hand-holding situation. So if you haven't watched that, you can learn about <laughs> that situation in our Q&A video, which was our first video that we posted. Mm. But we talked in the parking lot for three hours that day. Yeah. And I feel like after that, like it was done. Like we hung out every single day. Like we were inseparable <laughs> after yeah. that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. 
I have to say like one of my favorite things about us was that there was never well besides my creepy stalking face like once we started like dating well that's not like our anniversary so once we went on our first date like we weren't official yet but on our first date like after that even that day like there was no awkwardness like it just felt natural yeah it, it, we could talk about anything for hours yeah. and it was just normal and we enjoyed each other's company mm -hmm. it kind of felt like friends who like you know when you have a friend that you're really close to and you don't see them for like a long time but when you get back together like it's like nothing has changed mm -hmm. that's kind of what it felt Probably. like for me yeah exactly and you know it was just fun and um you know i say some i feel like i'm a pretty funny person but you know <laughs> she uh she laughed a lot and you know i could mm -hmm. tell and um you know with uh, rewind a little bit like the whole Mother's Day thing um, you know that kind of sparked everything it was like this girl doesn't even know me much and mm -hmm. cared like she showed that like she cared and was you know there for me and she barely knew me and there's people in my entire life that you know still never done something like that and uh i said man I, this has to be the girl i mean mm -hmm. you know like I, just what it was i mean i was mind blown like i i couldn't believe she came in and you know with a smile on her face and told me she's there for me if i need her mm -hmm. and yeah. you know that kind of that's why i ended up walking inside and going, <laughs> going to see her because i said I gotta, I have to, I have to put, I gotta put two feet in, just jump right in yeah. and not just put my toe in the water mm -hmm. and test it. So, yeah. that's what I did. Cool. So after our first date, we wanted to take it kind of slow. Like we didn't want to rush into anything. We wanted to make sure that we were like friends first for a little while. Um, so I remember you went on vacation to Tennessee for like a week um at the end of june and when he came back the night he came back he showed up at my grandma's house and surprised me and asked me to be his girlfriend so that's why june 30th is our anniversary and not like the day of our first date i guess i don't know how people usually do it yeah but that is our anniversary and yeah, yeah. it's been uh, amazing <laughs> it's been ever since yeah yeah it's been crazy it's been fun mm -hmm. And actually, uh, something I feel like, I mean, a lot of people know, but not really, is that we were only dating for three months before we got our apartment together. So yeah. we moved in together really fast, but it felt like forever. Like, it felt like we had known each other forever. So it didn't feel crazy at the time, but looking back, like, three months! Like, that was really <laughs> fast! <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. Me either. <laughs> me but um yeah it was it was an adventure and it mm -hmm. still is and yeah. we're still learning about each other we're still experiencing new things together we just i feel like we have a really good relationship and we're really good about i feel like talking and working things out and i know sometimes i get annoyed at stupid things but we try not to go to bed mad ever and yeah. You know, and it's, you just, I don't know how to explain it, like, you know, like, my, my thing to her, like, and we always talked about, and it was like a rule, was you just never go to bed mad, mm -hmm. you know, you always talk it out, or, or at least kiss, hug, whatever, just like, you know, show that once you go to bed, and the next day, it's a new day, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I told her that, and she respected that and so we've been doing that ever since and it's been um amazing and um i know you want the birds um sorry guys she's throwing me off trying not to knock over the camera either um but yeah. yeah it's been a great ride so far and we have a lot more to come yeah and we're happy that you guys are interested in your watching and 
you know, if you have any other questions, just ask us. We're, <laughs> we're open books. We're trying to, you know, relay our, our message and our, you know, life to other people. Our ups and downs. Yeah. So people can learn and we can learn. Mm -hmm. We can look back and learn and, you know, this is something that later on in life that our, our kids could watch and yeah. learn and how we used to do things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. love you. Love you too. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching our sappy love story. <laughs> it's not really sad. I said sappy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video of our sappy love story. Beautiful love story. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much. And don't forget to like this video. Um, comment any video suggestions that you want to see from us. Um, yeah. Because we want to keep giving you guys uh, content that you want to see. And we're having a lot of fun making these videos. So we want to know what you guys want to see next. Yeah, and also... Please don't forget to hit that bell because we really want you guys to get the notifications and watch mm -hmm. and you know because we really want to feedback we want to hear you guys please comment like we mm -hmm. we're trying our we best to interact yeah. with you guys yeah we want to interact and do something mm -hmm. new you know and don't forget to follow us on Instagram too um, our Instagram is at hey dot and dot Chris and that's also our TikTok too which we have just started so Yep. Give us a fun. follow on TikTok as well. Sounds we'll see good. you in our next video. Bye. Peace.